The U.S. Secretary of State Rex Tillerson says he's disturbed by North Korea's latest provocation. However, Tillerson says it could be a sign Pyongyang is starting to feel the pressure from the U.S. and the international community. And regarding that pressure, the U.N. Security Council is set to gather for an emergency meeting on the matter on Tuesday. As Yoo Jun Hee reports, possibly with new sanctions on the way. In an interview with Fox News on Sunday, Secretary of State Rex Tillerson said he was disturbed and disappointed by North Korea's latest ballistic missile test. He also vowed to dial up the pressure on the regime in an effort to convince Pyongyang that the escalation was the only viable option in achieving peace and prosperity. We're early in the stages of applying the economic pressure as well as the diplomatic pressure uh, to the regime in North Korea. The ongoing testing is uh, disappointing, it's disturbing, and we ask that they cease that because until they cease that testing, clearly they have not changed their view. In his view of North Korea's latest provocations, Tillerson said he believed Pyongyang may be acting out in response to growing U.S. pressure on the regime, which it may be starting to feel. North Korea's latest missile test comes after the U.S. Navy moved the second aircraft carrier to waters off the Korean Peninsula last week. The launch has been condemned by South Korea and Japan, with Tokyo's cabinet describing it as an intolerable violation of international law. Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe called it a challenge to the world and said he wants to raise the issue of North Korea's missile threats at the G7 summit in Italy later this month. The UN has also responded by calling an emergency session of the Security Council on Tuesday. According to diplomats, the meeting was requested by South Korea, the United States and Japan and will take place behind closed doors. The Security Council has already vowed to roll out tougher sanctions on Pyongyang following last week's missile launch by the regime. Yoo Joon Lee, Arirang News.